Wow, happy Thursday. No my Heidi my my fellow classmates, 1989 to 93. Hey, celebration time because we're at video vlog number four zero forty. Big ups, guys. Really, I honestly did not think we'd get to 40. I thought we might have had sort of two or three, but no way, man. We've hit 40 and we're heading towards the big five zero. So well done. Well done to you all. And for those that are still sitting on the fence, it's not too late. We'd love to chat to you and hear your story. Now, this is quite a cool one to celebrate the 40th edition. Um, this fellow old boy, um, fond memories of him um, and his family, his his brother, his older brother, in fact, was my um, well boarding he boarding master or whatever you call them, boarding a, a fifth year when I was in uh, Rogers B uh, in '91. Um, so got to know him and, and played some rugby. But I, I remember this guy really well. He always had a cheeky smile on his face. Uh, he was always industrious. Was a good rugby player too. And look, from what I hear now, I know that he's really um, a bloody hard worker. One of our rural boys, I think the family came from the mighty uh, Waikato or just south of. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's lovely to see these guys that are bloody working the land and doing the hard mahi. Um, haven't heard or seen from him from a long time, so I'm really keen to catch up with him. It's wonderful to welcome number four zero, your friend and mine. We called him Tussie, Alistair McFetridge. Kia ora, Alistair. Yeah, get up, huge mate. There you go. Great, great to uh, to connect, reconnect, guys. So, yeah, awesome. Yeah, good, mate. It's wonderful to see you. It's been a long time. Now, look, just explain exactly where you are because I can see the sun is absolutely beaming. Yeah, in. look at the yeah. No, look, it's a pearl of a day. Um, I just saw Chaz posted something uh, just earlier on the group, and uh, I wanted to match it. But uh, look, on the other side of the house, we've got a got a fantastic mountain called uh, you know Mount Taranaki. So. Or, or um, Mount Egmont for the for the others, uh, yeah. So we're we're um, just on the outskirts of New Plymouth. So yeah, no, no, that's hard. well done, mate. So from um, now Potaru, somewhere around there with your family. Yeah, Chiru, bro. Chiru, you know, it's quite important. To, yeah, you know, always, um, always um, went to Potaru Intermediate. Then uh, yeah, then then uh, but the Atira was always our sort of quarter fame. Um, yeah, so that's where we uh, we grew up. On a, on, a, on a farm there so yeah me and my uh, 400 brothers so yeah and that's yeah that's sort of how things sort of happened for us uh, down the stream so you know the oldest bro went down there so yeah sort of um, paved the way I guess. Fantastic well Tuss take us back recap your um, early years at Silver Stream now just touch base by the soil so you just said where you came from so how many years did you end up doing at Stream? You were, you of course were a boarder. Can you remember your first time you walked into Redwood and and who were your bay mates up there when you in, in the boarding hostel? Yeah, yeah. Look, geez, a long time ago. Um, yeah, look, I, I um, yeah, I do. Um, well, look, I was there for four years, um, and um, yeah, really, really enjoyed, especially the last, you know, the first sort of three years. Um, um geez third form um i think it's funny it's quite ironic really because um you know i had a shorty and he, he missed me last night and it was just awesome to uh to have him sort of touch base say eh? so um and you know anyone knows shorty he's a character in he so um and i think i think we had raz eh? i'm pretty sure we had richard adams in our bay and geez at a stretch was it bay two i think mate um i feel like it was look the others I, I really, I've, I've wrecked my brain, and I'm pretty just, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm spetching, eh? So, hey, fair but, enough. Um, fair enough, though, Tass. Yeah. You're talking about um, 28 years, you know, so close to 30. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure. So, um, but no, look, uh, I do remember. Um, I was Shane McDonald's bitch, eh? And in, uh, in my third form, like I, it's just quite ironic because you know the fellas, uh, he's down here as well, and doing really well, and um you know we leased land next door to him and um yeah he's a he's a, he's a great man in the, in the region so but um yeah i remember um i don't know if any of the other boys did work you know or sort of work but tidy rooms and stuff but yeah somehow i had to i do remember having to to uh, tidy his room and stuff and yeah so um 
Yes, that's um, yes, that, that's crazy. That is crazy and, and a little bit ironic, but let's be fair, all of the, that fifth year in particular, I think we were all there, bitches. Um, funny, um, <laughs> fun, yeah. funny, you know, that now that in our adult lives, you're, you're working the land right next to him. Um, I hear actually Shane just turned 50 uh, a weekend or two mm. ago, and a, a number of the crew we were up there. Now, what did you do? our seventh form year so you mentioned you left after sixth form what did yeah, you end up doing yeah so seventh form yeah so basically um we won't dwell into the, the logistics of what happened in sixth form but um yeah basically um i think well for starters i think that this, you know rules and regulations all sort of got to me a bit at the end day eh? and and uh just yeah wasn't wasn't fitting my mold so so um seventh form spent up at matamata um matamata college um yeah, so co-ed school, which which sort of fitted well with me, and probably, yeah, um, that that was where I sort of um, yeah finished my year and um, played a bit of footy still. Like you know, started with the first and yeah finished with the seconds. Um, yeah, the, yeah, good good rugby school as well. So not as good as obviously uh, string. So hence for the fact that I managed to uh, you know slide in there with a with a, a bit of bit more top tier rugby. So yeah, absolutely. Um, hey, but you're not alone in that fact that uh, you, you would have seen in the videos a lot of our boys um didn't carry on in the in the fifth year no, so. yeah absolutely and that was quite um yeah i guess that's been one of the revelations you you know um surprising because uh yeah um and, and interesting to hear that you know i wasn't the only one that sort of was getting a bit sick and tired of uh, being held down a bit eh? and, um yeah so no that was yeah no very interesting absolutely now you were a little bit of a baby-faced assassin, so I reckon you would have done really well with the ladies up there at um, Matamata College. Yeah, hold up, mate. Yeah, no worries. Are you still there? I've just got an incoming call, that's all. That's okay, I'm still here, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see me? I can't see you, I can hear you, so we'll just wait for that call to bounce away and then you'll come back. All right, mate. Sweet, sorry about that. That's okay. There you go. So my question, going back now, you were a little baby-faced assassin, my friend. I remember you. You would have done really. You would have done well with those with those innocent little ladies at Matamata College. I bet. Oh, easy, Tiger. My wife will be watching this. Um, yeah. Look. Um, yeah. I guess. Um, you know, it was it was nice to. Um, you know, to to you know to to go down that road, shall we say? I mean, yeah. It was a shame to to not see that final year out with the boys and. Yeah, one of, one of my big regrets, to be fair, because I think I think it was touched on with one of your one of you guys. You know, you, you really sort of you know that last year really sort of um, yeah developed into a great year and and yeah so uh, yeah looking back a regret but yeah no look you know it's always that you know um, yeah so there was two sides to it yet to be fair hundred percent what position did you end up playing when you did play at um, Matamata College uh, yeah first five mate so uh, look I. Uh, yeah, number always 10. Consider Sorry? Number 10. Number 10, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, um, I bounced between that and uh, fullback, I think, at school. And, um, you know, I, I was never good as Andrew. You know, Andrew, uh, I think he had more of the, uh, the drive that I did. Um, I just, you know, I think fit, uh, fitnesses and practices really didn't, didn't bode well for me. So after, after, after school, um, you know, um, Probably I enjoyed the ladies a little bit too much, maybe in that final year, because I sort of, you know, butchered my my bursary. Um, that and uh, yes, yeah, so I took a year out. Um, you know, I worked on the farm, the old man, and and um, you know, got a taste of, of uni life. Um, you know, uh, at Waikato. Um, but yeah, no, I just gave the code away for a little while um, and reconnected again when I went back to university or went to university after that ninety four year. So. Wow, you know, um, your, you know your brother's still playing, right? He's still putting on his boots oh, for the old mate, boys, mate. Yeah. Can't believe it. <laughs> he just doesn't know how to give up that boy. Um, no, look, he, um, he, oh, you remember this huge? He, um, he went down and did that um, the old boys versus the town uh, game. Um, yeah. Was it last year? And they got they got the wood over them last year and the year before. I think. Yeah, they got, he smashed uh, smashed, his, smashed his nose up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, mate. That's it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Now, nah, look, he's you know what does you know you know he's yeah, Andrew's um yeah he um no nah, he's a true 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 uh, blue man eh? and and loves 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 the um 
loves it all, eh? So. Oh, good. Now, listen. Tell us. Tell us about um, your your occupation, um, and uh, and tell us all about it. Don't don't downplay it. I want to hear about how big the farm is, exactly what you do, and yeah. So give us give us the rundown. Um. Well, geez. Um. Yeah. Look. Um. The farms. Um. Well, we we bought the farm. Um. Six year, uh, this is our seventh year owning the farm. And, um, we brought it off the off the, um, off the streets actually, uh, Tony Street's uh, parents. So they, and they live still on the farm. So it's pretty cool, uh, rubbing shoulders with them. They're a great family. And, oh, wow. So hang on. So, so that's um, Tony, who we see on TV. That's the one, bro. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. No, lovely, lovely girl, eh? lovely lady. Uh, a bit younger, obviously. But um, yeah, yeah, no, great, great, great family, eh? and, and real down to earth. Um, so we brought the farm off these guys. Um, yeah, and look, it's been a battle, um, but, um, you know, things are coming out the right side now with better payouts, but uh, the farm's about 64 hectares, and then we sort of lease another 50-odd um, on top of that, um, and I run it myself. So, um, yeah, um, my wife, and, and um, she works in town, and at, uh, well, not in town, at the airport. Um, yeah, so it probably works well for both of us, um, you know, with my... Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'll go there. Um, so yeah, no, look, um, you know, we, we milk uh, once a day, all year round. So I'm still milking as, as we speak. Um, so yeah, now the last few days, pretty bloody chilly. So um, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, so 640,000 square meters of, oh, yeah. of, of farmland. Yeah, mate. Yeah, um, prime, prime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're about 10 minutes out in your plumber. So we've, um, you know, this is home, uh, will be always home for us. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, it's, it, it, yeah. I mean, over over the course of, um, you know, 20 years since, you know, like I, I uh, you know, did uni for four years and, and farmed throughout those years, um, supporting myself and uh, went overseas for six years and farmed over there as well, but um, tried to not be a farmer. Um, and, um, yeah, look, um, couldn't fight it, mate. You know, it was in the blood. It's in the, you know, I'm passionate about it. And anyone that, anyone that knows me, I probably talk too bloody much about farming, to be fair. Um, but hey, you know, it's a good, honest living and uh, I love it. Eh? Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, as I said, I'm glad I've, I've done what I've done. It's, it's um, yeah, I guess it's sorted me out. And, and um, yeah, as I said, uh, oh, yeah, look, love it. Look. It's the backbone of our country. Let's make no mistake about it. City guys like me wouldn't last half a day. Um, so you know, we we appreciate it, mate. What you what you do. Our um, my wife's son was dairy farming down in um, uh, North Canterbury for for a few years, and and we used to go down and visit. And 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 I know just just how hard it is. So how many um how many dairy cows do you have, mate? Uh, look, uh, as long as the council aren't seen this, um, <laughs> uh, look, <laughs> uh, we're milking uh, 250, 260 at the moment, which is probably at my peak. That's what I'm looking to do this season, but it's through a very old girl of a share day, so um, we, we uh, yeah, hence the once a day. And, um, but yeah, look, as we as, as we get a bit older, I'm trying to make things work a bit easier, and and um, but yeah, that's that's sort of what what we're what I'm doing, um, presently, so. Good, good. No, no real plans to get bigger. Well done, mate. Now, tell us about your whanau. Introduce your family to us. You, do you have wife and children? Yeah, 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 no, I do. Um, I'll have to go back to my brother here for a second. Um, yeah, so I'm married to Vicky, um, and um, her sister is married to um, to Andrew, Tussie. Tussie what? Um, yeah, bro, so two, two brothers, two sisters. Um, wasn't planned that way, but, um, yeah, um, yeah. So that's, that's cool. Oh my it's, gosh, um, that makes um, yeah. that makes Christmas as nice and easy. <laughs> oh mate, too much. Um, yeah, no, no, uh, real, real close family. Um, so yeah, um, and and uh, look, I have two two kids. Uh, I've got Finn, who's um, just started Francis Douglas. Um, actually went to his first communion yesterday, so brought back some memories being in the chapel. A lot smaller, by the way, boys. Um, than than a stream. Um, so yeah, he's um he's yeah year seven, so coming on twelve. Um, and my little girl is uh, Eva. She's at Leperton, so yeah, she's she's a uh, she's um yeah she's a yeah she's awesome. So oh well, um, well done and and lovely names. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, 
Francis Douglas Memorial, the school that the Barrett boys went to, Conrad, yep. Conrad Smith and, and many others. What's the school like? Yep. Oh, look, it, it, you know, um, it's, it's got a lot of similarities um, to stream, um, like the handball courts for starters, and it's got a lot of history as well. And um, very proud rugby um, school. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know, that they, they, they got the, yeah, they've, they've had a few losses, but that, you know, they haven't, yeah, they've got a good team and, and um, yeah, look, it's, it's, it's steep, but I guess the biggest thing that I sort of enjoy seeing, seeing, um, you know, Finn go through is the, the, um, the relationship that the, the senior boys have with the young boys, eh? Cause you know, it's, it's potentially seven years with them, eh? So uh, they've got a really good um, framework there for helping the, the, uh, the younger kids sort of um, fit in and, and get involved and they do a lot of the coaching as well. So it's, um, look, it's awesome. And yeah, a good, good, well-respected school. So yeah, you know, ab <laughs> absolutely. And wonderful to hear that um, leadership or mentorship coming down the ladder from the, from the senior boys. Um, certainly probably something that was lacking in our early years at stream. Um, as you say, we, we were more about cleaning their rugby boots and carrying bags, I think. Um, um, for our seniors. But look, the other big school up there, of course, is New Plymouth Boys High that we have a traditional with. Um, I'm not sure whether Francis Douglas played them in rugby or not, but of course, um, their head, well, their principal or headmaster is one of our, one of us, um, an old boy yes. from Silver Stream, Sam Moore, who was a, a few few years below us. Yeah, and he just lives up the road, actually, huge. So, um, yeah, um, I've got mates as kids go there and um, you know, their role is sort of 1500 versus our role is 700. And like, it was quite interesting to hear, um, you know, Duff's, you know, talk about his, you know, the role now in the borders. Um, I think from Francis Douglas, they have about 150 um, out of the 700 that go there. Um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, no, look, once again, a good, a good school. Unfortunately, I think this was saying with the, I think the boys high headed over, over from Fundung um, this time around. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, um, you know, they, they never give up. You know, they're, they're a good, you know, got, you know, like good pedigree. Eh? So, um, yeah. hey, what did, you, what, what did you call them? Fung Dung. Fung Dung's the, uh, <laughs> I guess the, uh, that's sensational. The on a term, bro. Like Dooley, you know, Fung Dung is the, yeah. You heard that one, mate? Never heard that one. And I, uh, oh, there, you go. there you go. That's great, mate. We've got to get down with the local uh, Naki lingo, Fung Dung. Yeah, bro. There's, uh, there's plenty more. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, now, you, of course, you're in Taranaki. Um, give us a, a run. Exactly where are you? So where are you in relation to New Plymouth? Oh, yeah. So um, we, uh, we're sort of bow block. Um, I don't, yeah. Yep. So um, I guess um, drive-wise would be sort of 10 minutes from the centre of, of New Plymouth. So real close. Um, you know, so, yeah. No, it's, uh, yeah, it, it was... When we bought the place, it was bought for um, for retirement, I guess. So we, we were in, in it for the long haul. Um, so yeah, hence um, yeah, she's been a struggle. You. Yeah, but so yeah, we're getting there. So heading sort of uh, north northeast. Well, yeah, so north north northeast, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, just not not on the coast. Um, although we can see see the sea, and we can see the mountain obviously. So um, no, it's a beautiful part of the country, eh? So uh, yeah, yeah, and, no. Not not far from the golf course. No, no. Unfortunately, um, that is one of my passions. Um, that sort of rugby and um, yeah, look at um, just yeah. Last last number of years, five years, it's just yeah, the sticks haven't been uh, out of the shoe day. Eh? So, uh, but good, really good golf courses. Now, Moody, for example, where I think five people were saying the other week, you know, um, really nice course. And Inglewood is another good. So, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I've had the privilege of playing both of those very badly. Um, but you know, <laughs> New, New, New Plymouth is a beautiful, underrated um city, it's lovely. You know, that whole city to sea uh theme you've got the mountain on one side, the sea on the other, the, the, the walkway heading all the way up to Bell Block. Um, beautiful, yeah, yeah. No, it's look, you know, there's not too many places in the world you can say that too, are you? So, mm. uh, and I think Lonely Planet, I think, um, right at the top, what second best region to visit or something i don't know a, a while back but but yeah no look it's a great 
great place to bring up the family and and um you know it's it, it's it's nicely insular well not so much insular but you know a little bit out of the way of the big smokes and yeah as i said yeah um my my times that i've done over in london and so forth um yeah very much a family man these days though so it's it's, it's a good fit good stuff all right well, we're heading towards the end it's memory time now good or bad um, for you, is there, some, <laughs> is there something, mate, that you've always remembered, or you know, you've, you've pops up every now and then for you that you, that you can share with the boys of, of your time at Stream? You I mean you'll, you'll have heaps like the rest of the guys, but is there something in particular you can share? Yeah, geez, I mean, there, there's loads, though, mate. You know, yeah. lots of lots of memories. Um, like you said, you know, some of the some of the later ones not so good. Um, but yeah, look, you know, won't dwell on that. Um, yeah, look, the, the the early ones, I think, um, you know, like Muffs, you know, she's um, not to shame him too much, but I remember <clears throat> earlier on him trying to sort of um, impersonate a, a female by slopping his coos between his legs and pouching his, his chest. And that, I don't know, that, that was quite funny at the time. Oh, um, wow, wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Shorty's old, uh, you know, the old uh, short sheet, you know, that was always, you know, his pranks that he used to always play, um, you know, with, with his cheekiness, um, you know, going, going, jumping off the rocks down at, um, or that big rock down at the Hutt River, you know, and as, as, as young thirds, um, you know, they, they sort of, um, you know, just, just a lot of, lot of, lot of um, collage moments, eh? So, um, yeah. Wonderful. Do you keep in, do you keep in touch with anyone? Look, I've been really, yeah, I guess, no, uh, regretfully, um, you know, like I bumped into, you know, a few fellas, uh, Logie and, and, and Tyres earlier on in my, in my, in my, you know, years, um, you know, sort of after stream, but um, I guess as a farmer, you, you, you're pretty much just, you know, when I got back from London and did a lot of traveling and all that bullshit, you know, um, we, yeah, I just head down, bum up. I sort of pissed up against the wall, but a bit too much for over my thirties, and you know, so it was time to get into it, eh? And so I guess that's sort of, um, you know, I guess, um, yeah, shamefully to be honest, huge, um, you know, and that's why I think, um, you know, I'm really stoked to 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 have this this forum happening, eh? Um, you know, so it can reconnect with 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 the fellas, eh? And and um, yeah, so oh, listen, sort of mate, so long. No shame at all. No shame at all because that's been the norm for all of us. Um, we were a great group in the fact that we were transient. We all went different places like big time. Um, and many of us, um, myself included in some respects, have just been living life, bro. You know, yeah. and and um, and many of us, myself included, pissed up a lot against the wall in, 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 in my 30s. So you're not yeah. alone, mate. We, we all did what we did and, and that's, that's just called life. So, no, no issues there, mate. Now, listen. Today's the first of July. Would you believe? So, look. Yep. We, we haven't touched on it, but what are the? We've got a bit of time. What are the chances of getting you down for this dinner end of the month? We'd love to see you. Yeah, yeah. Look, I would love to be there, mate. To be fair, um, you know, um, anyone that knows farming will know that thirty first of July is a slap bang in the middle of carving. Right. Um, and being a one-man band with, with um, the workload that's on my plate, uh, I really think it's going to be a stretch. Um, you know, so look, it's it's, it's looking bleak, I'm afraid, uh, huge. Fair um, enough, mate. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, because if one thing I think we're going to get out of all of this is that we're going to have many other opportunities as we head towards our... Um, our, our 50. Now, there, there's a major reunion coming up, um, um, in, in, well, years away from now, but in 2031. So we'll have many other chances, bro, to catch up with you. Look, awesome. we're at the end now. We're going to release this video and the guys are going to be really stoked to hear from you, Tuss. Have you got a message you want to send out to the boys? Uh, well, the start has been awesome. Um, you know, all these videos, um, like I said, like you've been resonating huge, you know, look, if you haven't done one, um, <clears throat> yeah, I just get on board. It's, it's, um, it's great to be able to to see you guys and what you guys are up to now. Um, really proud of the boys and what you guys have achieved and what you're doing. And, and um, yeah, so look, um, yeah, look, if, you know, chances are pretty slim of, of, of um, getting down on the 31st, but um, have a bloody good time, fellas. And, and um, hey, look, the fridge is always full. Um, so if you're ever the knacky, mate, just uh, look me up because it'd be great to catch up.
Well, that's sensational. You heard it there, boys. If you didn't do a roadie to um, to Vanaki, hit up our brother Tussie. Um, now, listen, mate, we're going to sign off. Look, we're very proud of you, mate, just quietly, and all the hard money that you did. Like I said, I wouldn't last an hour there. But, um, you know, you're, it's, it's massive kudos to you, your wife, and your children. Keep up the great work. Um, let's keep in touch. And, fellas, Alistair McFetridge, thank you, brother. Thanks, huge. All right. Cheers, fellas. Take it easy.